Hey YouTube, this is just called Shoot. Just gonna come with a tutorial about how to make a uh, kind of a saucer and pan with uh, some apples in it using the uh, rotate and uh, rotate effect on Illustrator. So, all right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is make our apples, and so for, I want to pull out the ellipse tool, and then we're just gonna drag it down, just like this, just so you have an ellipse about that size, just right around there. And I want to select my color. I want to start off with a green apple. So I'm going to come over here with the green, that doesn't look too bad, and I'm going to go Effect, 3D, Revolve, and then I'm going to click Preview, and then as you can see here, it just makes a nice little apple, and you can always see that the left hand anchor point, the, mo the left and most anchor point, is going to be the revolve axis, and so you can see it revolves around the left hand right there, and um, yeah, you know, I mean, that doesn't look too bad, you can move it around like this, and you can check out some different angles, but um, I'm gonna take mine right back where it was. And where it was, yeah, right there, not too bad. Cool, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and then paste it in front, just so I have another one, and then paste it in front one more time, and another one. And then you can always uh, double click on the fill of another one and just turn it down just a little bit. And then there, you now you have a nice red one. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a saucer. And so we're gonna come over here with the pen tool, and I'm gonna just gonna pick a cool yellow just for the fill. So yeah, the yellow is not too bright right there. And then I'm gonna come over here, click once, and then I'm gonna click again, but then I'm gonna drag. Drag just a little bit, just so I can get a curve in here. And then I'm gonna come with diagonally. Right there is not too bad. And I'm gonna come over here to the side and just pull a little lip on it right there. Cool. Next we're going to go to 3D Revolve, same thing, we're going to go Preview, and there you can see we made just a nice little bowl right there, I want to turn the angle down just a little bit, that yeah, doesn't look too bad, and what is kind of cool though, is you can come in here, and I can add another anchor point with my pen tool right there, and then I can move this to my liking, and so you can see it, it automatically redoes the bowl on its own right there, you don't have to apply the effect again. Cool. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our apples, throw it in the center right here. Uh, as you can see, they're all in back. And so we'll go to our layers, and I'll just select my three apples, and I'll just move them in front of the saucer. I'm going to come over here, and come over here. Except I'll have the center one in the middle of the two, or on top of the two. Oops. Let's just select one right here. Oh jeez. There you go. Cool. And probably select these, all these guys, and just move them just to touch to the side. One more. Cool. Looks good. Next thing we're gonna do is create a clipping mask. And so we're gonna come over here with my pen tool. I'm just gonna click on the lip of this um, saucer right here. And maybe zoom out just a little bit and click on the lip of the saucer, and just kind of make a saucer shape. Just like that, doesn't look too bad. And I'm just gonna come around here and just engulf the, the whole top of the apple. And then I'm gonna select that path that I just, that shape that I just made and all the apples. Right click, make clipping mask. And you can see here, it just chops off the bottom. So all right there. Cool, that doesn't look too bad. And then next thing I'll do, I'm gonna come in here with a brush. And the brush that I have selected right now is just this kind of uh, crazy art brush, the charcoal art brush. It just seems to be pretty standard. And we just come in here, oops, and we want a black fill, that's for sure. I mean a black no fill, but we want a black stroke. Cool. Just come in here. Looks good. Cool. Doesn't look too bad. And so then we can select all these. Oops, didn't want to do that. Select all everything. Just pull it over. And so then there you go. There you have a nice little uh saucer and dishpan with some apple stems. Apple stems don't look too good, you could probably fix those up, but just a quick easy fix. And again, if you if you really want to go crazy with this um, with this saucer, just add another anchor point and then just like pull it in. And then you know you have you have any shape bowl that you want and then you can fix these apples. You can do whatever you want to. Looks good. Hope this tutorial worked out and uh, go have fun. Alright, later.